What's going on guys? This is Real Deal Fantasy HQ with your boy LQ. Today's episode we're going to be talking about two guys ADPs that are sitting back to back. Who to choose, who has the better upside, who has the better ceiling. It's Adam Thielen or Doug Baldwin. So let's get right into the episode. This first guy, we're going to be talking about Doug Baldwin for the Seahawks. Russell Wilson's go-to guy. He had 991 receiving yards. He had 75 receptions on 116 targets. His ADP is currently at 34. With Jimmy Graham being gone and Paul Richardson gone in the offseason, I'm pretty sure Doug Baldwin will absorb all those targets that they were seeing. Jimmy Graham was targeted 36% of the time in the red zone and 34% of the time in the end zone. So I'm pretty sure that Doug Baldwin's going to absorb all those targets and be that guy that Russell will look to in the red zone and the end zone. Last year, Doug was only targeted 11% of the time in the red zone and 18% of the time in the end zone. I feel as though with him absorbing all this high volume of targets that he will see double digit touchdowns this year. He had a buttload of touchdowns in the 2015 and 2016 season. He had 29 touchdowns in three seasons, so I'm pretty sure he's trying to get back to that form. Being Russell Wilson's go-to guy already, being his number one wide receiver, that puts Doug Baldwin in a great situation to be at in the draft at his ADP that's currently. With the O-line back and healthy and them adding new additions to the draft, that only means more opportunity for Russell Wilson to make some plays than see Doug Baldwin down the field to get those opportunities to get that high volume of targets. They have a better O-line unit this year than it was last year on paper, so let's just hope that this O-line can move forward into being how they were on that Super Bowl run. I know some people are worried with the lack of a wide receiver core and a steady running back talent back there that Seahawks will be coming from behind most of the games, but that only means that Russell will be throwing the ball more. So therefore, that makes plenty more opportunity for Doug Baldwin to see those high volume of targets. Again, with the lack of receiver core, who do you think is going to eat all those targets this year? Doug Baldwin, duh. So therefore, if you're going to draft anybody from the Seahawks, he will be the guy that you want to draft. Therefore, with all that being said, I'm very comfortable taking Doug Baldwin in the back end of the second round. So with his current ADP, I'm really comfortable taking him where he's at. Yeah. So this next guy we're going to be talking about is Adam Thielen for the Vikings. ADP currently at 32. He had 1,276 yards. He had 91 receptions on 142 targets and 4 touchdowns. He had a great 2017 season with Case Keenum. He performed at a wide receiver on one level. He had Chris Browse and great hands. Last year he saw 27.4% of the targets. He saw 26% of the targets in the red zone and 30% of the targets in the end zone. That's huge. So numbers look great for Thielen last year. Probably his best season yet. But with Kirk Cousins coming in, I do see the Vikings changing the offense a little bit. Being that Kirk is more comfortable throwing downfield, and he's liable to take more chances, which fits more of a Stephon Diggs role. So being that Case Keenan was so used to the short mid routes, and basically Adam Thielen bailing him out every time, that's why he saw so many targets. So with Dalvin Cook going out in injury, that also played a huge role why he saw so many targets. Being that 91 receptions and 4 touchdowns, sounds like more of a guy that's bailing him out. So with Kirk Cousins coming in at quarterback and Dalvin Cook coming back from injury, I do see Adams' targets taking a huge hit. I'm not saying he'll be a bust, but wide receiver 3 at best. He won't be a wide receiver 1 because he's not going to see those targets. He'll probably have like 64 receptions and 4 five touchdowns and on a probably 80 targets so it won't be as it was last year so his ADP is probably fooling a lot of guys and a lot of guys are reaching for him but I just in my heart don't feel as though he will be that wide receiver one for my team in conclusion with Adam Thielen's ADP being ahead of Doug Baldwin's I personally feel more comfortable taking Doug Baldwin than Adam Thielen you got to look at their situations you got Doug Baldwin being the only guy that's in Seattle right now I don't want to hear that Brandon Marshall's there because the dude is completely trash he won't build any chemistry with Russell Wilson so please throw that out the window and then you got Adam Thielen you got Diggs and you got Dalvin Cook coming back from injury, and you got a brand new quarterback in Kirk Cousins. So Kirk Cousins is probably going to build that chemistry with Diggs, being that he can make the big plays down the field. So Adam Thielen, he's looking at too much going on right now. His targets will go down, and it just is what it is. You got you just got to look at it like that. So that's my opinion on it. I would take Doug Bolin 
over Adam Thielen. So that wraps up episode four. I hope you guys liked the episode. Hope you guys liked the information I gave you. Hopefully it was useful. If you guys can hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next week for episode five. Peace.